A very quick disclaimer folks, I apologise in advance for the sound that's going on in the later part of this video. It was my third match attempting to record and there's something going on. I can't quite figure out what's wrong with the computer or the mic at the moment. I am addressing it, it just keeps going back from being behaving and not behaving. I will try and fix it, hopefully the third episode won't have any problems. Sorry in advance and you'll very soon sort out, see what I'm talking about. But keep watching. Uh, hello, yes, Mr. Chairman. I understand. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I understand that you're disappointed that we're not playing attacking football. But you have to understand where we are. We're playing a positive mentality. I, I, okay, all right, fair enough. We didn't. We got knocked out in the second round of the Carabao Cup. But you know, if we aim really? to be one of the top clubs, we should target cups that like they do. So the Carabao Cup doesn't matter really. No, way into Europe. Um, uh, and I know we haven't signed players under 23 for the first team but they're not that easy to come by, by on, on two and a half million ok but it's entertaining football at least and, and, and we're in budget and ok and we're mid table ok look we'll, we'll see how this game against Southampton goes and, and we'll address it from there ok ok Mr. Perslow thank you very much bye 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 <laughs> Well, how's it going and how's the crack and welcome back to Kahuna Gaming where once again we are now here to continue our Aston Villa save in Football Manager 2021 during the beta. Um, funny story, I did plan on having the Southampton game as this episode but the computer started to have a canary. It just couldn't handle what was going on. Luckily, there's new computer parts coming in the next week or two one part arrived today in fact there's 16 gig of ram right there um so hopefully the content uh of the product will improve once that arrive product am i talking about cocaine or football manager on youtube okay who knows but overall it's been very very good we've had two defeats in the league both one nil both away two manchester clubs the rest of that has been one nil 2-0 victory, 1-0 victory, 2-0 victory, 2-1 victory, and that was a 91st minute goal from Danny Ings or something, so it was it was a good game. This game came at a cost, though. Jack Grealish has been injured, and he's out for four to six weeks. So we're going into this clash against Fulham with a fifth versus fourth. This is for a Champions League spot. After eight games, we are taking on the almighty Fulham. We are travelling to Craven Cottage, to get some retribution from that playoff final a few years ago and most importantly to get into a Champions League spot so let's come back with the team sheet so here we are our first team selection with Jack Grealish which is fairly easy we play to swap in Trezeguet over to the far side and the returning from injury Steven Burgess, um going in on the right no real changes midfield or defence uh, Ali Watkins who found a bit of form in the last few games gets the start Sorridge, luckily, lucky to get a place on the bench, has done nothing, absolutely nothing. And Ken Friend is the referee. So let's go in and try and get things going. Um, Jack Reed misses out how much of an absence. It is not ideal. It's like, I like that, that brutally honest. Has a positive atmosphere around the club, contributes to the strong form. Everyone's enjoying work. Fulham's second in the form table. Um, we can put a dent in their ambitions. Okay, yes. Let's just say yes. See, this is running a lot smoother than the one I recorded a while ago. A while ago, they started walking out. The next thing it was kick off. There was nothing. Yeah, this game is is has calmed down. I think I had one lead in the wrong place in the game. The computer just couldn't take it. Um. So we had a free kick from Fulham. It's been cleared with Watkins mopping up. Give it to Burgess, the new man. Yet to see much of him, really, but he's only, he was injured in the first game, more or less. Uh, Burgess, great ball, you know. Tries to get here. Oh, crossbar. Maybe tipped over. No, it's a goal kick. 
good good start up on the single on the front foot uh you have to forget don't you have to not forget that these guys did knock us out of the carabao cup a cup i actually kind of was targeting but i was expecting them to put out a weaker team than what they did so i put out a second string team they didn't really so they beat us in penalties unluckily but that, that happens that happens louis barry i think it was that missed the missed the important oh um are they not playing Mitrovic? Oh, they are, okay. He would be a target of mine. If, I could, if they went down, say, and we had a bit of money, he'd be an ideal striker. I do, I am a fan, indeed, of Alexander Mitrovic. Hola, Anana, Anya, however the hell, he, however the hell you say his name, has cracked one in from the edge of the box into the far post. I would have thought Martinez should have done better, but maybe, maybe it was just a good finish. Um, a little bit more direct passing. We'll see how that goes. Grealish is a big loss, uh, but Trezeguet has been doing well, and of course we spent money on this guy, so we need him to hit the ground running. We skip frames again. Oh my. Again, the computer seems to be acting up, but hopefully it's not too bad. Okay. Rose, Trezeguet, Watkins in behind. Oh, no, cleared and really cleared by Mings. Uh, two Mings, should I say. Kanza gets it at the back. Big ball over to Matty Cash, but it's intercepted. Reed. It goes to Lemen Le Lemina. Jesus Christ, all their names are weird. <laughs> and yeah, tackled by Cash, cleared to Bertrand Rory. Who I didn't think was playing. Why is he there? I must have clicked something to take Boris off. But we missed a call from the, from trying to figure it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, how classic is that? We missed a goal from trying to figure out why someone was on the pitch. Cash, burst down the wing, plays it back. Douglas Louise touched Douglas Louise. Oh, nice goal. That's the second goal like that he scored this season. So it's no surprise to see him do it. And he's more than capable than real life also from banging one in. Um, I have to take better notice of what I'm pressing over here. Because he got a yellow card and then obviously do it came up here. And I thought it was a tactical thing as opposed to a substitution. And um, so we made it something we didn't mean to. But we also scored. So we're back. Oh, Watkins. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. That could have been a big miss. Okay. Free kick from Fulham. Adam look, man. Do not let the man take penalty, whatever you do. Oh, but he can take a shot, though. Oh. Oh, man. Shut your mouth, Annie. Shut your mouth. Oh, checking VAR. Goal review. Goal disallowed. Lookman's offside. <laughs> Spiffing jolly good. <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, don't punish me for that. Oh, and yeah, uh, plays it in. Danny Rose with a big clearance. Don't understand why Danny Rose is even at that part of the pitch, but I'll take it. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we might be able to do. Um, Danny Rose is nervous, so Mings can go out there. And Courtney House can play in the middle. Watkins out wide, cutting in, and Daniel Sturridge or Trezeguet. Just started one more opportunity. Pump the fists. Go out there and make a difference, boys. Confirm the subs. Let's go. Oh, they've gone. They've gone a little bit more attacking. Of course, they are at home. They would be expected to win this. 
Um, Ryan Fraser has scored for Newcastle. Hardy Ola, the man on loan from PSG. Takes a free kick. Or a goal kick, maybe. I don't know which one it was. Cavaliero. Burst down the right-hand side. Easily enough past Mings by the looks of it. Or no, House. Can he? Oh, good save from Martinez. It's looking like this is going to be a draw. Pretty inconclusive game. But not a terrible result. Not a terrible result at all. XG wise, we would have just uh, stuck it. But possession wise, it was all then. Uh, we were unlucky today, that's probably fair. Watkins probably should have scored. And we made a substitution that we didn't need to. So, the long and short of it is we're going okay. Um, it's none of the business. Okay. We, we will now decide where we're going to come back in the next episode. So, because this is not a game that we actually meant to be on in an episode at all, which is a pity because we did have a win in the one that we were meant to. Um, we'll come back maybe just before the transfer window at a home to Burnley or either maybe away to Everton. We'll see how the, both those teams are going. But for now, that's in this episode two. I'm in the big kahuna. Don't forget there's a competition running on my Twitter. If you go to my Twitter, down below in the description, and you retweet the um, pin post in my Twitter day before it is released fully. So don't forget to get involved. If you're new around here and stumbled across this, this stunning Irish face, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on Aston Villa's greatest ever player. I want to see who you come up with. And I've been the big kahuna. You've been the kahuna nights. I'll see you in the, um, the next episode maybe. Bye.